Hey guys, it's time to do a Grinds My Gears Christmas Edition. Man, man. You know what grinds my gears on Christmas, about Christmas? When I can't sleep at night. Like seriously, I'd be going around on cur So basically, I'm just going to tell you 10 things. First thing is, I can't sleep at night. Like, seriously, how the heck am I supposed to sleep on Christmas? It's, it's, like, so hard. Okay, you're like, okay, I'm gonna sleep right here. No, I can't sleep right there. No, okay. What bothers me about that is that I can't sleep on Christmas. I, I don't, like, I, I just can't do it. It's so hard. It's not easy to sleep on Christmas or on Christmas Eve. It's not. Okay, so the second thing that rise my gears about Christmas is... How my sister turns on Kiss FM instead of Christmas music. Guys, my gears about that is they don't put play Christmas music on that. I wish they did. That way, I wouldn't have to be angry. But yeah, I'm kind of agitated that that happens. And that's what guys my gears. The third thing that guys my gears about Christmas is. Um, oh, yeah, that's, my mom doesn't know that I'm a Lego right now. Um, third thing that grinds my gears about Christmas is how my mom has to go down to, no, that's not good. Uh, ooh, I know one, I know, I know one. Uh, mom, I, I was going to leave that one out. Third thing that grinds my gears about Christmas is the fact that sometimes when families fight, it gr it just gets on my nerves. Like, why the heck are you fighting on on Christmas? It's Christmas for crying out loud. Shouldn't be a reason for you to fight. The fourth thing that grinds my gears about Christmas is the fact that that when I was in school, Christmas didn't basically. Like, the week of Christmas didn't basically start until, like, the third week or fourth week. Because we had to do midterms. What got my gears about that is the fact that they made us stay for midterms instead of making us come home early. Okay, it's like they basically are trying to get us to go to work or whatnot. I mean, trying to get us to do our test work and stuff. I don't want to do test work before Christmas. What kind of, pe kind of red-haired guy do you think I am? Number five. Fifth thing that grinds my gears about Christmas. Is how the teachers don't even give a crap about it. I mean, seriously. They're just like... All they care about is tests and homework and stuff. But when you ask them about Christmas, they're just like... Can we not talk about that? Um... Hello... Is there any reason why you don't want to talk about that around our backs, teachers? Are you hiding something from us? Okay, so I said on my last rant that basically I wasn't going to talk about this, but i got to talk about it again. The fifth thing, or fifth verse, the fifth thing that grabs my gears about Christmas is how teachers basically don't believe in Santa Claus. I know we're adults here, folks, but some adults do believe in Santa Claus. Yep, some adults do. I don't believe that all adults don't believe in him. Okay? That's just bull crap. And he's not even a myth, okay? The word myth doesn't isn't even a word to me, okay? It, it just bull crap. I think he's real, okay? I think he's mysterious. To be honest, I think that Santa Claus is a mysterious figure because he's meant to be, okay? Yeah. Number 6. Grants on Gears about Christmas on number six is the fact that the fact that at least my sister Elise basically like 
Oh, actually, no. There's no snow on Texas on Christmas. Okay, so I'm gonna be going around, right? I'm going out on my own porch, right? And suddenly I'm trying to see if they have the snow. Guess what? No snow. It doesn't snow on Christmas because we're in Texas where it's hot. What were you gonna tell me next that it's eight degrees on Christmas? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be, that'd be worse. I don't want that. So the seventeen hour I grind my gears about Christmas is <sighs> is that for some reason whenever whenever my sister sees me opening a present and I and then I'm surprised at it. She acts like I am not. What the heck is wrong with you, Elise? Just because I, I didn't open a present? Just because I opened a present and wasn't shocked at what I got? You're, you're acting like I'm ungrateful all of a sudden? What is wrong with you? Okay? What I'm curious about this is the fact that she doesn't appreciate me. It's like when they're telling, when you're basically shocked that you didn't, when you got what you want and you're not even pleased with it. This is what it is. She, basically, whenever she opens her present, she's shot. And then whenever I'm doing it, she's just like, he's not even surprised by what he got. Screw you, Elise. Screw you say about me getting a present on Christmas. I have to however I want that. I am 22 years old. Okay? Think I... I, I still play with toys talk on it. That's one that's my most favorite secret of all time, by the way. And that's, that's the only secret I have. You think I'd just go around here basically just talking about how my life is hard because apparently I'm supposed to not believe in Santa Claus because of what the stupid teachers say at FOF or any teacher or any student tells me that Santa's not real and to grow up because of him. No. And now you're telling me that I'm surprised that I, that I'm not sure, that I'm not surprised with the, with the gifts. And then my mom, this is what my mom does. Mom, tell them what you, what you have to do and to, to impress at least. Like, tell, tell her what happens when, 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 tell, tell me, tell the audience what happens when, when Elise isn't surprised, uh, when Elise knows I'm not surprised about my gift. What does she do? That is so hard. She gets mad on Christmas. I freaking hate when families do this. Sorry, curse guys. Sorry, Lord. But it's true. Alright, all right. Um, number eight. The eighth thing that grinds my gears about Christmas is the fact that Black Friday comes before it. I don't want to be reminded of Black, the Black Friday weekend crisis here. Look, I get it. You're trying to consume, like, consume us with your Christmas greed. But you don't have to keep on going with this Black Friday. Why did I have this Black Friday have to ruin our, my Christmas? Why? Or, actually, this is better. Why? Okay, so anyway, um, the eighth thing that reminds, the ninth thing that reminds, you know what? Eighth ninth, the the eighth thing that reminds that grunt my gear my gears about Christmas is the fact that my family doesn't get up in the middle of the morning to open Christmas. Instead, I had to like wait an hour. Like seriously, what the hell? I'm getting um, sorry. What what the what the dump truck is going on here? I mean. Here's what I do. I get up. Mom is asleep. My sister's asleep. Actually, my mom's awake. She's the one that's awake because she can't sleep at night. Yeah, true fact. She'll tell herself, but I'm not going to let her. So I'm getting up, right? I'm getting up, and then suddenly, my sister is still asleep. Lingling's still asleep. They don't even get up. They don't even get up at nine. I'm like, get up at nine at least. If it's Christmas, you should get up at nine. And they don't do it. They just 
Or like, uh, I don't know, we're gonna sleep in. In the beginning of Christmas. What? Why? Why can't you just get up in the middle of the 25th of December? <sighs> you see what I have to deal with on Christmas and why it sucks for me? I like Christmas, but sometimes it sucks. Number nine. My sister does not like Christmas music. I like Christmas music. But she turns on that doggone Kiss of M crap. I'm like, that's not even a Christmas music. I don't like Kiss of M. I think it's the worst, horrible, most hated of all stations. Because the music isn't even that good. In fact, I even might do a, 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 a rant on it one of these days. But anyway... She puts it on there after I put on Christmas music. How rude is my sister when she does that? Seriously, Howard, I know people are annoyed by Christmas music, but she has to turn on their stupid Christmas if it My mom does not want to deal with this. Lingling does not want to deal with this. Why can't she just turn on the rap station? I know they don't have any Christmas music on that, but rap is cooler than Kiss FM. It really is. Sorry, Kiss FM, but I like the rap station that my sister plays. It's just me, okay? And the number 10 thing that I hate about Christmas is... Sometimes, okay? This doesn't happen all the time. But sometimes, some bad stuff, like some bad fighting will go on during Christmas. Mom and sister will fight with me, and I do not like it. I'm like, this is why I do not like to fight with my family on Christmas. But it happens anyway. It's like, because I don't even know why it happens. I know families fight in real life, okay? But why do they do it? Like, seriously, what is the point of fighting on Christmas? If it's Christmas Day, the part where you have to be happy and stuff. I know everybody's not happy, not, not all people are happy on Christmas, and I know that some people don't believe in Santa Claus. I don't give a crap about the samples part. You can just believe it however you want to believe. But the thing is, I just do not like when my family fights on Christmas. And that's the top, t and that's the t 10 thing I, 10 things that basically grab my gears about Christmas. Anyway, um, hope you guys, hope you guys are, and, t and tell me what, you know what? Um. Anyway, I'm. I'm Summer Twenty Four. Um. See you guys when I do my uh. My Christmas haul video on um. The December twenty fifth. I'm gonna do a Christmas haul. Anyway, bye.